So what about this show captured your imagination and made you really want to audition? Um, well, first of all, I did audition. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that was coming. I'm like, waiting. I'm like, mm -hmm. tell me how your audition was. <laughs> um, no, but I think what was really, uh, was really compelling about this was that it felt very original. Mm -hmm. I couldn't place it. I couldn't really find anything that reminded me of it. Um, I mean, the first idea is like the Mad Men and NASA, but it's not that. It's so much more. And, um, and it has this, you know, sci-fi element that, you know, comes in later in the show. But, um, but it, you know, it, what is special about it is the, the character writing and, and the overall weave of the characters is, is so impressive. Yeah, absolutely. Can you tell us about your characters, Edward and Karen? No. <laughs> <laughs> We're under embargo. Yeah. <laughs> um, I, I play Ed Baldwin, is a former Navy test pilot and now an astronaut, and uh, he was the commander of Apollo 10. And I play Karen Baldwin, his uh, dutiful wife and mother to Shane, and a part of the astronaut, you know, wives culture within within NASA. Um, I mean. It's hard to, to you know, place a one-dimensional thing on, on characters that are written and have such journeys on a show, but, you know. That's, so that's the frame. Yeah, sure. The framework. That's, that's what you should know to start. Yeah. <laughs> did you guys know each other before the show? Nope. So how did Only you... in my dreams. <laughs> Only in my dreams. How did you build that rapport to get that husband and wife dynamic down? Well, yeah, I think just, as soon as we saw each other in our costumes, you have a really good laugh. Like, because, hey, sexy grandma. Yeah, you look like your grandparents. Yeah. And, um, you know, you there's an amazing camaraderie on our, on our set between all of us. And we had a very short prep period that we were all kind of thrusted into. And in that, you're kind of experiencing and learning together. And I think that bonds you when you feel as though you're starting a journey of something that's original and new and exciting and you're in it together. Um, you kind of instantly bond. The first thing we ever did was take a Christmas photo that's in this room and you'll have to see it because we didn't even know each other. It's like, okay, we're taking our first Christmas photo. <laughs> <laughs> Exciting stuff like that. Um, these characters are from half a century ago. So what made them relatable to you and made them resonate with you as 21st century people? Um, you know, I don't, I don't know if there's a lot about Karen on the exterior and the way that she is that a lot of uh, modern day women could relate to. But I think if you dig below the surface of anybody, we have the same fears, the same doubts, the same wants, desires, inspirations, aspirations. Uh, we're still human at our core and we still struggle and there's so much that still would connect you whether it's in the past or the present. And I think being able to connect to that human side makes them relatable characters. And it comes from, you know, first and foremost, the writing. And I remember I auditioned. <laughs> and I remember I had this two-page monologue, and it was one of the first scenes Joel and I ever filmed together. And I remember thinking I, I could envision having this conversation in present day as well, maybe not with the same rhetoric, but there, there's something about that feeling that still resonates uh, even though it's in the past. What are some of the challenges that you face as a couple, one being an astronaut and one an astronaut's mm. wife? Oh, we, have, we have a lot of challenges this season. Um, you know, we, especially in the last part of, maybe the last third of the show, um, change is a very important theme in, in our show and even if you don't wanna change, sometimes life hands you tragedies and pushes you to have to change and grow beyond things. And our characters are going through a nightmare right now. And mm -hmm. um, more than any nightmare we'd ever experienced before. And every one of those informs how close we are as a couple and you learn about them and then you get to watch us actually experience one.